In the morning, when I saw this tweet from Sam Altman, that immediately reminded me of the original browser wars of yesteryears. If you have been here for a long time like me, you might remember Netscape, Internet Explorer and a whole lot of drama. Today it feels like we are entering a sequel. Chrome still dominates, Microsoft has Copilot in Edge, Perplexity is building a browser called Comet and OpenAI has just dropped this brand new player, ChatGPT Atlas. I don't have a Mac to demo it live, but I will walk you through what it is, what it does, how it compares and who it might make sense for. I know that there already have been a lot of videos around ChatGPT Atlas. So if you want to see it in action, either you can go to this website, which I will drop the link to it in videos description, or you could check elsewhere. The purpose of this video is to cover it from a different unique angle. One thing I can promise is it is going to be interesting. So stay till the end and I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe. And if you want me to buy a Mac, become a member here. I promise as soon as I have the adequate funds, I'm from the membership, I'm going to buy a Mac and give you a demo of this ChatGPT Atlas. Anyway, what Atlas is? It is a web browser with ChatGPT built in at the core. That's about it. Instead of just typing into an address bar and opening a bunch of tabs, you can ask the assistant to understand a page, act on it, and if you want, remember context so that you don't repeat yourself. Think of it as a browser recentered around an AI agent, assistant, or helper. Let me show you a quick table to summarize its features at very, very quick glance. So agent mode in this atlas lets chat GPT take action in your browser, which means it can open tabs, it can click through flows and handles multi-step tasks while you supervise. Beware, it can open your bank account too. I mean, if it remembers to cookies and stuff. Anyway, but there are guardrails too, but again, beware. Browser memories are optional in this one. You can choose to let Atlas save helpful context from sites you visit, so it can bring that context back later. There is also a sidebar chat, so you can summarize long pages, compare products or draft messages without leaving your tab. Privacy and controls are built in. By default, pages you browse are not used to train models. You can toggle what Atlas can see per site, clear memories or go incognito. It also has broader context awareness, so it understands activity across tabs and sessions and can link related pages together. Availability starts on Mac OS with Windows, iOS and Android promised next soon. I don't know when. And there are safety guardrails as I mentioned. Atlas is not going to run local code, download files or install extensions for you. It also pauses on sensitive sites and can run agent tasks logged out for extra safety. Now, having said that, this there are a lot of things I still believe are not for common uh, or non-technical user who just want to browse internet, as you just saw uh, in these features. But why this matters at the end of the day? So look, um, there are a lot of things. The browser is where most of our work and research lives. If the assistant can read what you are looking at and safely perform simple actions, you go from copy pasting prompts into a separate chat bot to having help right where the work happens. That shift from search and click to state your intent and supervise is the real story in my humble opinion. One of my favorite one is agentic mode if it is used nicely. Agent mode is really best for tedious multi-step flows like fill, filling a card from a list, clicking through docs to scrape details you could have done by hand, or opening a set of research tabs and organizing them. It's not magic and it still needs your oversight. But if you have ever thought that this is going to take like 15, 20 clicks, I think that is the use case. It is sort of a glorified, smart, AI-powered, uh, you know, robotic platform automation, RPA in maybe. Or maybe the browser use in like, you know, in a more refined way, I would say. Another interesting bit, if I just scroll through and they have shared a lot of things. 
like memories uh, are there but i think they are a bit controversial uh, and in every AI, ai product it always feels like you know they are just encroaching and the good news is that they are opt in here so if you enable them at least can remember context you find useful like your role recurring preferences or relevant project info and bring it back later if you don't want that leave them off use incognito or clear them whenever you like the key is that atlas is trying to let you decide what's visible but as i said earlier majority of the web users who use these browsers uh, if even if they mistake mistakenly turn it on i'm more than sure they're not going to turn it off the memories and all that stuff so that is where i'm a bit worried about so how does it compare with chrome edge and comet what is happening at the moment look i would say chrome is still the default for many people and google is weaving gemini into chrome as we all know so the assistant can understand and help on the page whereas microsoft edge leans on copilot mode to blend chat search and navigation with access to page context and then we have this perplexities comet which is a new entrant pushing the idea of a personal research assistant as your browser atlas fits into the same trend but with chat gpt's ecosystem and agent focus now there are few things which are really noteworthy in my humble opinion when it comes to this atlas like the integration feels native by design the assistant sits in the browser and not bolted on second the opt-in memory model with clear control is a good baseline as far as i can see in few of the reviews i have seen from openai itself thirdly agent mode points to where browsing is headed less busy work clicking more supervising a helper and finally the ui choices like a persistent sidebar making it easy to ask for help without losing your place but again in my opinion agents are not there yet they can still fail and fail royally the web is messy pages change and prompt injection is a real real risk so atlas atlas errs on the side of being careful which is good but that also limits what it will attempt power users who want full automation might find the guardrails frustrating but that might be a blessing for the common user but if they turn it on it could be not a blessing at all and if you only rely on windows or mobile today you are waiting for those versions to land just like your favorite ai youtuber so look where this could go anywhere short term expect better reliability for agent actions and more granular controls medium term the interesting line is collaboration assistants coordinating across tabs or even between people in a team to move work forward long term the browser becomes less about windows and more about tasks what you want done with automation happening under your supervision anyway bottom line for me is quite clear very very clear in my humble opinion atlas is a bet that the browser should be assistant first if that resonates with how you work it's worth a look especially if you already use chat gpt if you are happy with chrome edge or whatever you use you don't really need to switch tomorrow but we are clearly in browser wars too and the big changes are to renders javascript fastest anymore it's who helps you do the work with the least friction now if you have tried atlas comet gemini in chrome or copilot in edge tell me what surprised you let's make it a lively discussion good or bad just share it in the comment if you're on windows or mobile what would it take for you to switch i'm very keen to learn that and i'm reading the comments and i'll follow up once i can test atlas hands on and that of course depends on this membership so please like the video and subscribe and become a member also uh, as a parting gift i also want to introduce you to our good friends at iagent which is the world's first multi agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find their link in video's description thank you for all the support